Hey RT family, Ryan Reynolds here with Keller Williams Consultants Realty and today I am with David Rocho with NFM Lending and we're talking about what's going on in the market because we're getting a ton of questions about what's happening with interest rates, what's happening with mortgages and how can you possibly buy a house in this kind of environment. So today, David, let's, uh, let's start with the first question. So what are interest rates doing uh, on a general basis? The market is very volatile, as we all know, and we've seen rates that have moved away from their historic lows and have since doubled since about a year ago. So even though the rates have hit that almost 7% or that 7% mark, it's still a great opportunity to buy. When we look at historically, rate-wise, it's still overall still a good rate. We've gone spoiled over these last several yeah. years, unfortunately, but right now, still a great opportunity. We're telling our clients that this is the short term. We're thinking this is more short term than long term. So despite the rates, it's still a great time uh, to buy. That's what I would say too. And when I look back at the 1980s when this happened last time, basically the biggest thing I noticed was there was a huge spike in interest rates, but they came down almost as fast as they went up. And so if I'm thinking about buying, you know, maybe I'm kind of enticed about waiting to buy because I want to get that lower interest rate when these do come back down. What would you say to them and maybe tell them I'm going to kind of nudge you a little bit about the program you mentioned in this last week. <laughs> Absolutely. Great, uh, great uh, topic there. So again, what we're telling our clients are, listen, when you've got an opportunity right now to find that dream home that you really want, don't let that rate be the deciding factor because again, we believe it's short term right now with, uh, with uh, what we expect markets to do over these next several years. I think ideally we are going to see these rates probably improve to the better. With that being said, we are offering right now what we call a refinance pledge to anybody who's closing between now and the 31st of October. What does that mean? Obviously, the concern would be with if we buy something now, then we got to refinance later, there's going to be expenses involved. So right now, what we're doing is we're waiving all of the lender fees, including the appraisal, when the time comes to refinance to give these buyers a way to, hey, listen, buy, you still buy now. It might be a short-term uh, sacrifice. I use the terminology, I use the analogy right now, Ryan. I say date the rate. You're going to date right. the rate for the short term, and then next year when these markets do turn, you're going to marry it into long term. So again, don't wait to get that dream home in, in part because of an interest rate. And there are other products out there. There are other uh, products such as uh, adjustable rates and so forth that could also be yeah. very attractive for the short term for these buyers. Again, these are short term fixers for what we know will be a long term goal for them when these rates do come down. Okay, so I actually wanted to ask you about that. So in terms of um, adjustable mortgage rates or, or um, AR arms, arms people right. call them arms, adjustable rate mortgages. So what is, can you explain just what is an adjustable rate mortgage? Absolutely. Almost nobody probably has had one of those. Right, well, the word adjustable rate mortgage probably fears a lot of people these, in this market because uh, right. of what happened back in 07, 08. The one thing about an arm is that, for example, when you hear the term called 5-1 or 7-1, so that number in the front tells that buyer that that rate's gonna be fixed. It's a discounted rate, by the way, fixed for the first five years or okay. the first seven years. So the luxury of that is that during that five years or seven years while it's fixed, if the markets do improve, which we anticipate they're going to, then most buyers who typically start off with an adjustable rate decide, you know what, I'm gonna go with a fixed rate now that I'll refinance. So obviously they're getting out of that uh, loan before it even becomes an adjustable rate. Because again, fixed for five years, then it becomes an annual adjustable rate or a seven year. So again, we find so a lot of the buyers, uh, buyers who are open to that. Uh, so to that five, a five one means it just doesn't adjust for five years, but then every year after that, it might adjust. That is correct. But with okay. the first five years, that introductory rate that you got locked in at is that rate for five yeah. years. And then it becomes an adjustable rate thereafter. But again, mindset is typically for buyers who don't plan to be in their house long term yep. or those who say, hey, I'll write out this market now, get what I want for a shorter payment and then uh, yep. go into a fix at a later date. Yeah. So statistically, people stay in their houses somewhere between seven and 10 years. So a seven one arm would cover the majority. And even so, don't a lot of them have a cap on how much they can adjust? That up? is correct. All of the adjustable rates do come with what they call these uh, ceiling caps. So you know, there are caps. They will vary based off of the type of uh, product it is, but for the most part, they all do come with caps. So they can't go to 20 or 30% by any means. So there are caps on those biannually, on an annual basis. So okay. yearly, they will come on, uh, they cap as well. A cap annually as well as over the life of the That life. is correct, over the life of the life. Typically, when you start off with your initial rate, I find that most adjustable rates can never exceed 6% over and above that prevailing rate. So, for example, if okay. somebody starts off with a 5.5% rate, they may, will never exceed an 11.5% rate. God forbid we would see days like that. Yeah. But, that again, we find that most people who take these products don't ever entertain into that adjustable rate period because, again, they get out of it before that time happens. Yeah. And so, you mentioned historic history, I guess, or historical average 
averages. And so what is, what is the actual average for mortgage rates historically? Well, listen, believe it or not, when you look at from the uh, from the 90s to now, you that 6-7% range was more of an average. I mean, 6.5% to 7% were more averages than what we're yeah. seeing, what we've seen over the last couple of years. So we definitely, we definitely saw a dip over these last four years. It was a great opportunity. But again, for buying purposes, it's always a great time to buy. These yeah. rates, again, they're going to come up and down. And I tell my clients, I've been in this business for 25 years. I've seen them come up and down. So it is going to be another ride at some point down the road. Yeah. One of my favorite expressions is actually, don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. That's right. And That's so right. it goes right along with your date the rate and marry the mortgage. Or Absolutely. Marry, marry the... Yeah, you'll, you'll marry the rate, obviously. You know, I, I guess if you don't want to marry it, then you'll uh, you'll buy another house. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, yeah. That's, that's right. Just sell it and then buy another one as a result. <laughs> that's right. And actually, most people do that after seven to ten years. So let's switch right. gears just a minute and talk a little bit about how is it that somebody, let's say they're a first-time home buyer and you don't know what you need to do uh, to buy a house. And so typically, we as real estate agents will say, we need to have you talk to a lender and, and we'll usually we'll talk to, have them talk to you. So what is it they're gonna be asked to provide as part of applying or get, getting pre-approved? Sure, usually with buyers in general, even with first time buyers, we like to take at least a moment to get a better idea of their needs and wants. So obviously at the end of the day, we wanna focus our pre-approvals on what, you're, uh, what the buyers are looking for. That being said, with first time buyers, again, it's all, it's all common questions we wanna know. You know, housing type, maximum payment, what your position is on down payment. And at that point, then we discuss like what their income levels are, uh, what they're bringing in and what they can qualify for. So really with first time buyers, we love the opportunity to sit down with them mm -hmm. and explore with them. At the end of the day, what we focus on more than anything else, Ryan, is what the client wants to pay. Not what they qualify up to, what they want to what pay. They want to exactly. We focus on what their desired payment is, then we can work around what that price point is, and that's how we relate to you as an agent. Say, hey, your buyer's pre-approved, and we want to make them uh, quality we are pre-approving them at this uh, this uh, amount. Number, based on their yeah. comfort based level. On what exactly. they want, where they want to be. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it's a matter of just, you know, we speak with them uh, with the first time buyers, I think a lot of them uh, nervous, they hear about you know, you know, are there things out there for first time buyers? So we talk about some of the down payment assistance programs that could be available to some of the buyers who are under certain income threshold. So that is a discussion we have in okay. comparison to minimal downs. Right now, first time buyers are under the Smith, you gotta put down 20%. Right. And that's not the case. Yep. You can put down as little as 3% for conventional loans or you're some of the down payment assistance that offers uh, covering that. And again, vet veterans, no money down. So uh, buyers out there don't think that you've got to put down a substantial amount. Three to three and a half percent are typically your minimal amounts uh, available okay. out there. Three to three and a half percent. That's good to know. And if, and if you're a vet, obviously you can get zero down. Huge. So there Huge. you have it. That's David Rocho talking about what's going on in today's mortgage market. If you are interested in knowing more about that or have questions about your specific situation, David can definitely help. And that's David Rocho at NFM Lending. We'll go ahead and throw the link here in the bottom of the uh, video. And as always, it's the Ryan Reynolds team, unlimited opportunities and exceptional experiences.